This canoe is 16 feet in the training manual. It's 24 inches in this model. It's from the loft exercise. Make the loft with top patch current. Click the tabs for the surface tools and find the patch tool. We'll select the gunnels of the boat on both sides followed by enter and place a patch between those. Make sure there's no check in adjust tangency and click OK. We'll now make the contours layer current and we'll make the front viewport and seaplane the active viewports. We'll use the curve tools tab and we'll find the contour command. We will join the curves when they are created. We'll select in the front view the hull and the top surface and we will join those by contour plane as one of the options. The base point for the contour is at zero. The direction is to the right or left in the front viewport and seaplane. And the distance will be one and a quarter. And you notice that I typed the fraction. And you'll see the contours created in the model. I'm going to turn off the hull and the top patch layers. And I'm going to make the project and R map layer current. I'm also going to click the layer manager button. I'm going to right click on the project and remap layers and I'm going to copy the contours to that layer. So you'll see me now turn off the contours and make the project and remap contours layer the current layer. In the right viewport and seaplane I'm going to select the contours. Two operations are going to occur. One, the transform menu, I will project those curves to the right construction plane. The next operation, I'll select, or they're still selected more than likely, the same set of curves in the right viewport. Make that the active viewport. In the transform menu under the orient link, I'm going to remap that set of curves to the top viewport and construction plane. The reason for this is this is the seaplane that your laser engravers CNC machines, etc. reside. And you'll notice that I will move this slightly out of the way and I will show you that I've created another layer which I named nested curves and in that layer I've taken the same set of curves and I've spread them out and this is how they might look on your laser engraver. They actually exist in this view inside a 24 by 12 rectangle. Also in notes in this model should be all the instructions to do everything that I just did. Let me know how this works for you. I hope it's something that you can make useful in your classroom for taking 3D models apart into 2D and of course we may want to cut the contours and put this back together as a 3D model again.